What up, y'all? Welcome to the last Flashback Friday Attitude Error video of April. As I mentioned before, today is my 25th anniversary of being a fan of The Rock. As you can see, I'm wearing my Just Bring It shirt. 25 years since I've been a fan of this man right here. I'm taking you back to 25 years ago. A one-on-one -on -one match between The Rock and Shane McMahon from the April 26, 1999 edition of Raw is War. The same day Super Smash Brothers was released for the Nintendo 64. The Rock's first day as a babyface. Let's go ahead and check out this match. And be on the lookout for next week's Flashback Friday added to error video. The first Flashback Friday added to error video of May. Will Rimmon is 25 years of the supposedly lumberjack match between The Rock and Stone Cold Steve Austin. But let's check out this match. The Rock and Shane McMahon. For there you see, ladies and gentlemen, The Rock, he is getting rather impatient because tonight that man, The Rock, will fight Shane McMahon right here live tonight on Raw. If you can believe it, it will happen right here tonight. Wrong end of the stick or the bat from the corporation. Whatever, there's Shane McMahon. Shane McMahon. On his way to the ring, Shane McMahon, The Rock, live next. Vocalistics for SmackDown this Thursday night in prime time. And here we go. Shane McMahon, and where's his, where's his boy? He's by himself, which is somewhat surprising for the boy. I wonder no backup. Are you kidding? I can't believe he's going to go through with this by himself. The, the Rock. Really? Shane Disrespectful. The crock. This was special. He's never wanted for anything in his life. I'll tell you. I don't know if Mac has got number one, number two. You know, I hate to say this, but maybe this kid's, uh, the honeys are as, uh, as large as uh, he says they are. He's had everything handed to him. Earlier tonight, Shane called off the dog, showing the rock some mercy from a gang attack. So here's why he did it. He did it so he could get a cheap shot in. He, Shane did it. So that he can take care of the rock himself. And can you imagine the mindset of the rock after seeing this footage? Shane using the boss man's nightstick as a weapon to try to choke out the rock. So Shane McMahon and the rock one on one live right here, right now on Raw. And Shane without you smell what the rock is putting in his back up. This is on a night, ladies and gentlemen, where this McMahon is awaiting The Undertaker for the biggest transaction in the history of this company, the biggest transaction in Vince McMahon's life. The safety of his daughter, first and foremost, and, you know, it's Stephanie and Shane's sister as well as Vince's daughter, but you don't see any concern on Shane McMahon's face for his daughter in the clutches of The Undertaker. Shane McMahon, I don't think he care less seemingly about his sister or his father, his own hatred uh, is, is the focus of, of Shane McMahon right now. Shane could care less, I think, about his own family. He only, only cares about himself and what he thinks he can do to the rock. And I think that he's, I think the guy is flipped now because just because he took this corporation away from his father when his father was pre oh, All right, hand yeah, by the rock. I don't like Shane's chances against this man that was a 26-year-old, three-time former WWF champion. Now this just ain't going to work at all. Shane, this ain't going to work. This may be one of the shorter matches in the Ooh. Rock's career. And what a, I mean, a, a knockdown from a clothesline that you can hear at the top of the building here in the Hartford Civic Center. I think the Rock may finally have realized that the corporation benefited from him more than he benefited from them. It's the British Posse. The Shane's buddies, the British Posse. He gas. He just got gas. And Rocky. Rocky goes for a line. And he, Rocky, he got grilled by the rock. Rocky got no respect. He got no respect at all. The Mean Street Posse. Who the hell invited the Mean Street Posse? The Mean Street Posse, and now the, the people's elbow. 
Oh no, Triple H.